let's get the voodoo out here let's throw some of this on there put some on the tail too because that's what they love that's a good oh guys they want shrimp today Yep. Oh, it's a nicer one on the voodoo. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Oh, he's splashing. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back with him. What's up, guys? Your boy Jay Fishy here. And today, guys, uh, we actually only have about an hour to fish. You know, I got some stuff to do, but uh, with the weather recently, it's been very, very rough to get out there. So um, right now, actually, about an hour and a half ago, we had a crazy weather, uh, rainstorm come through. And as you guys can see in the background now, there's sunlight. So I told myself, you know what? I got to get out there. Got to give it a shot. Like I always say, guys, uh, you never know unless you go out and try, honestly. I don't even know where I'm going yet, but uh, I'll tell you what, I have one spot in mind that if I have the bet on it, I think it'd be the one I, I want to hit, especially with only an hour to fish. Let's just go out and have a blast. Uh, once again, I wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for all the support recently. We hit that thousand uh, subscriber milestone, and I'm trying to go hard now and uh, keep creating some good content for you guys. So yeah, if you guys like it, shoot me a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, let's get the fishing. See you guys out in the water. All right, you guys. Well. As you can tell, <laughs> it's another stormy summer day here in uh, the Tampa Bay. And actually, the storm just passed. So I kind of, as always, wanted to do somewhat like of a little experiment here. And uh, pretty much just come right after the storm just to see, you know, if anything's really biting out here. Or moving in general, you know. Like I said, I don't, I haven't, I did this once. Oh, that was my backpack. <laughs> did this one time and uh it didn't really pay off but you know i always like to try things more than once especially something like that so let me look around here the tide is super low though and it's actually an incoming so that's a good thing but let's start off with this little slim shady i actually need to find my dr juice real quick good old dr juice there's those little uh, glass minnows, which I actually got told by somebody that they might not be glass minnows. They might be another kind of a bait fish. So anyways, let's get a little of this stuff on there. And I'm actually wearing uh, long pants because of how bad the bugs were the last time I came out here. I don't want to deal with that again. Okay, so my line was a little tangled there. Let's see. Again, I don't see. I don't see too many fish. I see a lot of bait though. A lot of bait now. A second ago, this bait wasn't here, so. That's a good sign. And with this incoming tide, maybe I can uh, get something to like this slam shady here. Oh man, my super glue must have worn off. I had super glue on this. It's a good sign. All right, guys, well, let's get started with today's adventure. And like I said in the intro, it was actually going to be a really quick adventure today because I didn't have much time. And as you guys can tell, I spent already about a good 15 to 20 minutes casting this uh, Slam Shady around this little canal here, uh, just hoping for any kind of bite, any kind of life. Unfortunately, like I said, a storm had just came by, so I really didn't expect much. And also, it was very low tide, and I usually don't have that much good luck here when it's low tide. But, you know, like I said, we're still going to try it. And guys, finally, we had a little bit of sign of life here. Oh, no. It's 
something try to take it. Oh god, I'll take what up here. Wow. That was a decent bite. I don't know what that was. But something tried to smack it right there. Not sure if that was a that might have been a uh, like a ladyfish or a trout or something. Something super aggressive. snook because I felt like like it instantly tried to run off with it it wasn't a craziest bite and that's kind of why I said it might have been a trout or a ladyfish because a lot of the times even the small ones of those they're real aggressive and it just kind of grabbed the lure and kind of take off with it and usually that's how they end up getting hooked but unfortunately even though I did pretty good at waiting and setting the hook it seemed like it still got out of their mouth so I wasn't too sure at this point what that could have been uh, there's so many species it could have been honestly but uh, I was just glad to finally have some sort of bite some sort of action and as you guys can tell I didn't want to give up on the slam shady as y'all know that's one of my favorite lures uh, but hey I also had a feeling that you know maybe switching it up might just get something else to look at around maybe they're getting tired of me throwing this for so long and also the fact that I didn't have much time I wasn't trying to spend too much time with one lure I wanted to switch it up. And well, guys, let's just say it was probably the best idea of the day. All right. Let's get the voodoo on there. All right. Let's get the voodoo out here. Just throw some of this on there. Put some on the tail, too, because that's what they love. said guys i haven't used the voodoo in a while so i don't know if this is gonna even be a good idea but hey let's give it a shot there's a lot of structure here too so once i get close i have to kind of reel it up because Something's hanging around. And that is the big question. Is there something hanging around here? And you know, guys, it, saltwater fishing or just fishing in general, it's like that. You never know where the fish are. I mean, sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. But uh, I wanted to give it a try with this voodoo because I haven't really used the voodoo in a very long time. Uh, over winter, I had really, really good luck with it. Uh, fishing for trout and you know some of the bigger ladyfish so it was super fun to use it and it's a, such a different retrieval because you have to kind of pop it two times and almost make it seem like it's a real shrimp a live shrimp you know so it's sometimes it's it's kind of fun to do that and you know if you watch my uh the way i retrieve it a lot of the times i'll switch it sometimes i'll do two pops sometimes i'll do one sometimes i won't do any sometimes i just kind of drag it around the ground and after switching it so much on this day i finally found a way that they wanted it and out of nowhere this happens Oh, guys.
<laughs> it's a snook <laughs> on a voodoo. What? <laughs> Calm down, buddy. You're going back. Look at that, guys. I think that's my first ever fish. I mean, snook on a voodoo. Oh, came right out. Look at that little juvenile snook. Pretty little thing. Beautiful thing. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Get back in there, buddy. Let's go, guys. I can't believe it. Like I said, I only had an hour to come out here and fish. And I honestly expected to come out and maybe catch a ladyfish or, you know, a small trout, something of that nature. And what do you know, guys? We actually ended up finding a snook. And it's crazy because the storm just came by about an hour ago. So I really didn't expect anything to actually be out here, let alone, you know, something of a, a nice species like that. But hey, that's fishing, guys. Anything can happen. Uh, like I, you know, sometimes, like I always say, though, you just got to come out and try it. But yeah, let's get back in there real quick because maybe they're just moving in the school right now. So I want to get back in there. And again, that was with a different lure this time. It wasn't a good old slam shady that I love to use. This time it was on the voodoo shrimp. So it's, it's not just a slam shady, I guess. This time maybe they want the voodoo. But yeah, let's see if we can get a better one. All right, let's freaking go. <laughs> Super pumped. Oh, look at that, guys. Is that a shrimp? Guys, I think there's a shrimp down there. Oh, no. It's just a casing of a shrimp. Let's go. <laughs> On the freaking voodoo. I think that's the first time. I want to say I hooked one before, but I didn't get to land it. <sighs> And just like I was saying, guys, a little voodoo. Let's freaking go. Oh man, you guys know I love catching snook. It's literally one of my favorite species to catch. It don't matter the size because honestly, it's just so cool to catch them, especially on artificial. It just feels so good. And especially on a newer lure that I haven't really caught one on. So it was such a good, uh, such a good fight. And guys, let's just say this next cast, it got even better. Let's go. The little snook are still hanging around. Saltwater bass. Like I said, that was a crazy bite. And what's even crazier is I kind of felt it a couple times tap it. It swallowed that thing though. Let's go. Good thing I switched over. Hey guys, sometimes that's all it takes is a simple little lure switch. You know, you switch over to another lure. Oh, they must be stacked up there. I just felt another little. They want shrimp today. Oh, yep. Oh, it's a nicer one. On the voodoo. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Oh, he's splashing. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back, buddy. <laughs> it's it's a nicer one. Nice snook. Come here. No. Let's go. What? <laughs> Holy crap. Woo. Woo. It's a good one, bro. <laughs> on the on the fake shrimp too. He's about, I don't know, 20? 20? Yeah, some, something like that, 20 inches. <laughs> Honestly, bro, just straight out and just reeling it back in. <laughs> Let's get this guy back in there. Get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> they want the voodoo. Heck yeah, man, appreciate it. <laughs> Let's freaking go guys. Oh man, I'm so pumped about that catch I really was scared about not getting that guy up honestly because again uh, I know I've been I actually bought 20 pound leader, but I did not expect to hook up on a snook So I had that voodoo tied on with 15 pound and uh, honestly that might be one of the reasons it bit But man, I hooked that thing perfect. I mean it was not gonna cut me off no matter what I mean unless I really fought him which as you guys could tell I was trying to get him up pretty fast because I thought I was gonna lose him, but hey 
Ooh, I'm so pumped about that. You guys know I love catching snook. Uh, even that small one a little bit earlier was super, super dope. And uh, the fact that I actually got that decent size one, I honestly thought it was a little bigger uh, before I got him up. But once I got him up, I realized it wasn't my PB. But hey, super fun size, uh, great fight. I mean, that's all I could ask for. Like I said, I only had an hour to fish today and uh, I just grabbed my rods with my artificials on it and just kind of came out and hoped to make it happen. And uh, let's go. Oh, we did it uh oh man I, it's just so crazy to think that you know on a day where you just have an hour and you just want to go out there real quick and uh throw a couple artificials at, at an area and you're going to catch something and then a day you come super prepared with live bait everything and you don't get anything but uh that's fishing guys honestly and uh like i said i'm super stoked about that and uh let me uh, show you guys my uh, gear actually so you guys can see what i was using this is just a little penrath 3000 penrath Penrath 3000 on the uh, seven foot medium light. It's the combo actually. You guys have seen me catch both my PB and that fun size snook right now and a, a bunch of other fish on this exact setup right here. So like I said, guys, a lot of people will tell you you need a big rod and stuff. This is proof. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, guys. And uh, I only have 10 pound braid on here. And like I said, I have 15 pound uh, leader line. And the way I have it hooked up, and this is a little... I think it's a three and a quarter inch, yeah, three and a quarter inch uh, voodoo. So here it is. I have a little, uh, it's kind of hard to tell with this camera, but um, it's a uni to uni knot, just tying them together. And that's my setup, guys. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> like I said, I'm super pumped to come out with only an hour to fish and able to hook up on anything. I was going to, guys, I would have been happy with the ladyfish, let alone two snook and one that size. Let's freaking go. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back in there for a little longer. I don't have much more time, but let's uh, give it a shot. <laughs> let's freaking go <laughs> on light tackle, with a little voodoo, guys. What's, <laughs> I'm pumped right now. That was a nice one, guys. Probably a good, I say 20. Might have been a little over 20, but wasn't my PB for sure. Whew. Like I said, though, guys, it seems they want the voodoo now. I was trying with the uh, slam shade, as you guys seen, they didn't want me. It's crazy. This is like my first time having real good luck with this voodoo, but I knew it worked. I had caught fish with it before. You seen I caught that small one, then I caught the big one, so they stayed around. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> yeah, he did shake me up. Let me retie. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> And this is something I definitely recommend. You know, I haven't caught too many snook in my year and a half of fishing, but just uh, with the couple that I have caught, I definitely have noticed that they do fray up your leader a lot. So if you ever catch them, definitely check your uh, leader line, especially around the lure and see if you see any kind of frays. If you do, more than less likely you want to retie because you might lose the next one. Or even if you don't lose one, they do say that somehow the... um that frayedness that they leave in your leader becomes more visible to them so they're not likely to bite again so i seen that i had some kind of fray in my line and i was like you know what let me retie because hey at this point they were getting bigger guys and i was like man if i get an even bigger one it's definitely gonna uh break my line off so i decided to retie it let's put a little more dr juice i'm telling you guys this is the real deal And I don't know if you guys noticed, but as I was retying my uh, voodoo shrimp, a couple of the people who were fishing next to us pretty much crept their way over to the area where I just hooked up. Uh, they seen me catch that snook and they hadn't been catching anything. So they little by little made their way. And, you know, I, I really didn't mind. So uh, not to mention, I didn't have too much more time here anyways. So I pretty much just decided to give them tips on this area and uh, how to fish it to see if they could catch one themselves. Like today, I won't, like I told him, I didn't even think I was going to catch anything because that storm came earlier. It, you know sometimes that makes this water super dirty as it is right now this is this water is never clean but this is a little dirty for it i've gone to skyway a couple times but not a lot actually i only started fishing a year ago bro so i, I, I fish like two, three years ago. yeah i've only been fishing for like a year but i found my way around it <laughs> 
Oh man, that thing looks good, bro. I never caught anything on it. It looks good though, for real. Yeah. It moves nice. You never know. Maybe. It's always possible, bro. I think it's time for me to get out of here. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, I told you guys where to cast. Hopefully, I'll catch something because it's time for me to get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm pretty much going to check out here. Uh, like I said, I only had an hour to come fish today. This week has been real bad with weather or in general, recently, the area has been really bad with weather. So I seen that that storm came by and I was like, you know what? Let me go give it a shot because you never know what's going to happen. And I'm so, so glad that I did. Super pumped about uh, the snook, honestly. The fact that I was able to catch two in such a short time and one to be the size of that one was, oh, man, I'm so stoked right now. You guys, you know, I love catching snook and to be able to catch a nice size one. I was already pumped with that bit with that small juvenile one, guys. I was like, yes, we got one. But uh, now that I caught the bigger one, man, whew, I'm so glad I came out here. And that's why that's literally why I always say, guys, you just got to go out and try it. <laughs> It looked, it looked like the worst day. The tides were terrible. It was super low tide. Uh, the water is super dirty, super murky because of that storm. But I still came out here and look what happened, guys. I made it happen. So let that be a kind of proof to you guys who sometimes you don't want to go. You, you're like, ah, I don't have that much time. This was literally in one hour of fishing, guys. I was able to catch both of those fish. Like I said, on a new lure this time, uh, I've seen a lot of people kill the snook with the voodoo. So today I was like, I, you know, I was throwing both as you guys seen. I started with the slam shady, of course, because I just had the best luck with it. But uh, I had the voodoo in case and what do you know once again I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support recently you guys have been killing it I, I'm just so glad that you guys are uh, supporting the channel and that you guys are enjoying the content that I create for you guys and that I'm able to make yeah if you guys have any more suggestions for stuff that you guys want to watch let me know down in the comments uh, I've been meaning to go back to John's Pass but like I said the weather's just been so bad and it's a, it's a good you know hour and a half for me so I want to be sure that I'm going to be able to fish, number one. And uh, even if I don't catch anything, guys, you guys know I enjoy going out there. So all I'm really waiting for is a good weather day that I can make it out there. And uh, we're going to try John's Pass again to see what's biting over there. Because I haven't been in uh, probably two months now. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys have a blessed week. I hope you guys have the best luck out there fishing. Remember, guys, always, always, always stay positive. Keep them good vibes up. I upload twice a week on my channel. So I hope to see you guys back here next time. But until then, guys, peace.